Hey everyone, it's Project SBC, and today I'm going to show you how Ubuntu runs on the OneMix 4. I'm not going to go over all the installation steps, but I will give you a high level summary of it, and we'll see what does and doesn't work with this machine on the Linux side. I'm not a big Linux user, so if I did miss anything, you can certainly point that out in the comments below, and I'll see if I can't give an update on those in the future. To get it installed on this, I am going to use my external USB-C SSD here and a program called Rufus with the ISO image downloaded from Ubuntu. If you're a Linux user, you're probably very familiar how to get it installed on a Windows machine, so I'm not going to bore you with those details. You will want to make sure that there is a available partition on your main solid state drive so that you can install your Ubuntu to that. You should see something like this after making your Linux USB drive the primary boot drive. And success. Looks like we're going to have to rotate the screen. Go ahead and continue with the installation from here. After a successful installation, head to the BIOS and make the Ubuntu the number one boot option. Ah, success. Let's fix the screen orientation first. Open a terminal window and run the following command to switch it back to normal. Let's go ahead and test out a few things. So we do have Wi-Fi working right out of the box. That's good news. Touch screen is working partially. It looks like I can't scroll, but I can click. We have brightness displays on the screen. We have volume displays on the screen and volume does work. Uh, Intel graphics drivers at least recognize because obviously we have a display up. Bluetooth is also recognized. Let's go ahead and test out the screen rotation. Now well, maybe it doesn't want to recognize the screen rotating. So for the most part, it looks like the One Mix 4 is compatible with Linux Ubuntu. I don't think there was much doubt that it wasn't going to be. Uh, the only thing that didn't work was the um, screen rotation. And of course, I had to set the initial rotation when I first booted up. If I missed anything you wanted to see, leave that in the comments below. I'll either make a follow-up video or at least answer you in the comments if it worked or not. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, maybe even subscribe, and thanks for watching.